there are more than four thousand species of frogs they are found on every continent except antarctica frogs range in size from three slash eight of an inch to twelve inches long the smallest frog is the brazilian gold frog which is three slash eight of an inch long the largest frog is the goliath frog which can grow to be twelve inches long frogs are amphibians which means they can live in both water and on land most frogs live near ponds lakes or other bodies of water frogs lay their eggs in water the eggs hatch into tadpoles which grow into frogs frogs have smooth wet skin they breathe through their nostrils and their skin frogs absorb oxygen through their skin that is why it is important for frogs to live in damp environments frogs are carnivores which means they eat other animals frogs eat insects worms snails and other small animals some larger frogs will eat small mammals such as mice frogs have long sticky tongues they use their tongue to catch their prey once the frog feels something on its tongue it will swallow the prey whole frogs have long hind legs that help them leap frogs can leap 20 times their own body length that is the equivalent of a human being able to jump 800 feet most frogs are active at night this is when they do most of their hunting during the day frogs like to hide from predators such as snakes and birds frogs are cold-blooded animals this means their body temperature depends on the temperature of their surroundings when it is warm outside frogs are more active when it is cold frogs become less active and may even enter a state of hibernation frogs are an important part of the food chain they help to control the population of insects frogs are also a food source for many animals such as snakes birds and mammals frogs are in danger of becoming extinct there are many reasons for this but the two main reasons are loss of habitat and pollution as humans continue to develop land many ponds and other natural habitats are being destroyed this leaves fewer places for frogs to live additionally when ponds and other waterways become polluted it can kill frogs and other amphibians